Welcome to On Pilates. I'm Carol. So in this channel, we share with you practices for mindful Pilates and also classical yoga. Now today, I'll be sharing on how to improve in your plank because both the yoga practice and Pilates practice will be working on this uh, exercise and this posture. So let me share what we're going to be practicing today. So there'll be two parts to this video tutorial. First one, we'll be sharing with you how to do it correctly. And then the second part, I'm going to share with you what to avoid and what the variations that you can work on. Okay, so let's begin right now. So first I want to share with you the standard plank. So we'll go into this position here. So we're going to have our shoulders directly over our wrists. Now many times people are hyperextending when they straighten their elbows. You want to soften the elbows if you're one of them. Okay, and then our palms shoulder width apart. Okay, our knees can be hip distance apart. So you can notice that I'm in a tabletop position with my hips directly over my knees and my shoulders directly over my wrists. And I'm going to press my fingertips down so I avoid stressing my wrist. And the other thing is not to drop the head down. Okay, so you want to lengthen. So you practice uh, Pilates, you will be very mindful of the spinal alignment. So tailbone away from my crown. Okay, and from here you can start by doing this straightening one knees okay so you're not rushing you can feel the alignment and next when you're ready we engage our deep core muscles and we straighten the other knee without lifting the hips up or rounding the upper back and we breathe okay so you notice that the belly is not sinking down neither am I rounding the upper back and my shoulders away from my ears lengthening the spine breathing 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 okay now from here i'm going to slowly lower the knees down lower the other knee down knees together let's just go into a counter stretch by rounding the back okay my forehead can just rest on the mat hands beside my feet relax the neck and shoulders breathe deeply into my lower back exhale and slowly crawl up so that's the standard plank. So when you're practicing that, you can imagine that there is a bowl of soup on your meat bag, or you can also imagine there is a surfboard, which I always share with my students, okay? And the surfboard has to be parallel to the floor. So next, let's practice the forearm plank. So this one requires more core strength, but it's also safer in some way when we do the uh, modified version. So I'm going to show you the actual practice itself. So I'm going to go on my forearm, I'm going to walk my knees back, okay? So my elbows and my, my hands are shoulder width apart, okay? My shoulders directly over my elbows. Now, this is too high, so I'm going to adjust my knees, my knees hip distance apart, okay? Until I go into this position, so I'm pretty relaxed, okay? But I'm already engaging, alright? So my head is not dropping down, my neck is long, I'm aware of my spinal alignment, I press my palms down, my forearm down, shoulders relax, so I'm not rounding upper back. So basically no compensation and drawing my belly up. So we're ready, straighten one knee again. Okay, feel the alignment and engage the core and then just straighten the other leg. Okay, so I make a straight line here and breathe. Breathing. 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 So keeping my spine in a good position. I don't stress my back, not stressing my shoulders, breathing. And slowly lower the knees down. And slowly relax the hips. You can also do it this way. Legs together. Round my back. Go into my C curve. And slowly back to the resting position. Hands beside. Take a deep breath here. Inhale and exhale and crawl up now normally when i share with my students okay we start with about 10 seconds because it might be a lot for some people if they are very weak in the core so we do not want to copy the movement we want the practice to be effective okay and beneficial for us if not there's no purpose in doing this okay and you put strain in your joints okay so we're gonna share with you okay we're gonna share with you uh, what not to do 
all right and then what you can do okay if you are still struggling so you are still between you know going to the full standard plank or the forearm plank you know you are not that weak okay so what can you do to kind of progress towards there so first let me share with you what not to do so as um, some of you may be aware Okay, of course, I just mentioned about the hyper extended elbows. You want to soften the positioning of your the first position is very important. Okay, so if you start off like this, okay, you probably will have a good chance of arching your back. Okay, so you want to go into this position. You can feel the weight, you can feel your spine alignment, it's very important. And then this also sometimes we break into if we're gonna break into two parts, people will if then they focus the lower part of the body, let's say they focus on the legs, they forgot the upper body. You need to really focus on the whole entire body. Alright, so common stick for the standard plank is really this. Okay, so I notice, okay, people who are weaker core definitely they'll be in this position and naturally the head will drop down. So of course this is really bad for the back. Okay, and then uh, this one maybe happen for most of the gentlemen, okay, that you're pretty strong, you've been doing push-up, but the upper back is rounded a lot. Okay, so there's still a bit of compensation here. I recommend that you go to this neutral position. Okay, you can feel release in the neck, but it's really deep in the core so you have to be really really strong so when you say strong meaning the deep core muscles all right so generally um maybe for some of you who are at the gym or you are you know gentlemen okay the upper body is stronger so tend to this is quite easy but we want to really go to the core we need to align so from the side if you can see so in our plank instead of doing this not too you can see it's a bit rounded you want to go into this in your in your plank you can see my spine is neutral okay all right so same thing for the forearm plank okay so usually our guide students to go into this position first we go we check our spine alignment first okay then from there okay again this will happen the usual either sinking hips okay rounded upper back and most of the time the head is dropping down a lot so these are what not to do okay you don't want to drop your head down round your upper back or sink your hips down and for the standard plank uh, the watch out for the elbows now what can you do okay so I actually guided you in the first part of the video is that you can do one step first okay or from there you come back so let's say step uh, one two three step three so step one is your starting position and step three is your final position so step two is the one that you can always come back down when you feel you're tired and you go back but you're still working your core but uh, not so strong so that you can build strength over time so for example if you are doing the I'm going to show it to you in the forearm okay because forearm is a stronger practice so for example this is the part okay this may be resting and then this is your step number one all right step number one we need to adjust so that the, there's no stress positioning the elbows and the hands the forearm shoulder width apart my knees hip distance apart okay and my feet hip distance apart so first position, my spine neutral, okay, good position, okay, I'm not straining my neck, but already I'm activating my deep core muscles, okay? So second, step two, before we go to the full position, you should try to straighten your knees, because many people will start to do this, lift the hips up. So try to stay here and keep the belly drawn to your spine, so without sinking the hips down. And then lower the knees down, breathing, Okay, once we get tired, this will happen. So you will be aware all the time. Engage your shoulder blades. And you try to straighten the other knee. Alright, feel that the spine and the whole entire body is lengthened. And then you can come to here. So this is your step three. But any time, so time is a big factor here. Usually after a few seconds, this may happen. Or you prevent the hips from sinking down and you do this. Okay, then you don't activate your core that much. So you rather stay here maybe two seconds. If you're tired, lower the knees down and up. Or when you feel tired, the other knee down or both knees down to rest. But you're still activating your deep core muscles. So this is my suggestion for you. Okay, to step one to step three, try to at some point while you are building strength, go to your step two. 
maybe for a few seconds. So let's say in the one minute, after 30 seconds, you start to feel tired and then the hips starts to go up or down or the uh, the shoulders start to round because of compensation because you're tired okay then it's better to modify it so a bit more gentle and you can still hold okay everything in okay meaning you're still working your transversus abdominis muscles and then bring it closer and then you know take a breather then maybe the last 20 seconds if you feel comfortable you can go back to your full uh, forearm plank or your full standard plank all right so last one the standard plank, which is why I mentioned elbows. Okay, you can start by doing this first. Okay, straighten. Okay, you can then slowly go up. Make sure it's lengthened. Anytime you feel that you're sinking down or you try to compensate, it's better to lower one knee down, maintain the alignment. Okay, then you can go back up. Breathing and not rounding. So this is my method that I'm going to share with you because I have uh, been teaching like this for a long time and many students build the strength okay, uh, with regular practice and it's safe. Okay? So it's not to force, it's not about no pain, no gain. You feel that you build your inner core strength very progressively and very steadily. So if you practice like this, okay, you'll build strength slowly okay, and steadily. So, and then of course, for me, my goal here is that you will have a pain-free body, okay? So this will help you to build strength safely and not injure yourself. So if you're interested to join me in an upcoming free workshop on stretching and strengthening, okay? So it's not so much about a tutorial, but to, again, similar like this, I'm gonna guide you in how to do certain practices, some basic practices that will be very helpful for you. You can click on the link below, okay? I'll keep you updated when the free workshop will be up. So thank you for joining me today and I wish you a great day and I will see you the next time.